Hi, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is going to be talk I'm going to be talking about solely how to get a, a bipolar stepper motor running. Uh, what signals you need, uh, what device driver to drive the motor itself. Um, using I use a uh, PIC microcontrollers and PIC Basic Pro to program them. Uh, if you have a look at my other videos, I've started doing some on my own channel. Uh, if you search PIC programming for beginners, um, I think there's part one to four or one to five teaches, teaches you the basics of um, getting some LEDs going and the small unipolar motors. Uh, they're on my brother's channel, uh, but as I say, type in um, in the search on YouTube, uh, PIC microcontrollers for beginners, you'll find them on his channel. So what I'll do now, turn this uh, power supply on. So I've just got an LCD um, stuck on this motor, just so you see something turning and not just a, a boring shaft. Uh, this this is a bipolar stepper motor from eBay, uh, cost about 11 or 12 pound, and it's taken me forever to suss out how to get them going. So while that's turning and stepping slowly, let me see if I can focus in on the wiring. Is a standard bipolar stepper, but this one's six wires, two phases. You see, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting a pointer. Uh, we've got some time wireless displays. We've got two phases essentially here. Well, that's got one, two, three, four coils. These center taps are brought out on this motor, the red and white, and the yellow and white, but they're not used. We just use the black, red yellow, white, um, running to our device. Now the device I'm using to get this running, let the uh, display come round. The device I'm using is an ST uh, dual full bridge driver uh, called the L298. Let me just wait for this display to come round. You see, that's the time of that day. Maybe I should reset the clock. I normally overrun 90 days to Christmas. Right, so this motor's fairly talky. I've got it stuck down to the paper. I'm um, fair amount of force, and that's not stopping. Uh, as I say, this bipolar is a smaller one, four wires. You can find on eBay, 10, 12 pounds, something like that. Uh, bipolar stepper motors, that's what we're talking about. Right, so forget this first breadboard, that's just my clock running the display. See if I can zoom in on this lot. So as I say, it's the STL298 driver. Now you can drive a stepper motor directly off your PIC micro if you're using FETs, something like that. Sorry, you can't drive it directly, but you can use, you know, run some FETs or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I'm coming down with the gold. I bought this, uh, says a motor and stepper motor driver off eBay. Cost about £5. It's the ST chip in there, STL298. That's capable of handling about 2 amps. But there's, a, uh, there's one phase of the bipolar stepper motor. Here's the second phase over here. I could not get the thing going. It's taken me weeks and I've trawled YouTube and everyone says, oh yeah, that, well they've got the various drivers that cost 30, 40, 50 pound, 100 pound, Arduino boards, pick processes, driving various uh, drivers, but not what to use to clock them. Uh, took me forever to get this little thing going. Had it for about two weeks. So two phases, left and right, on the back of it, it's got output one, output two, output three and four. So one or two, one phase, three and four, second phase. Now I misunderstood, there's no wiring diagrams with this. It says 12 volts ground and five volts. Probably can't, don't know if I can get this camera to focus. You see there's a supply there. So I thought maybe I can run it on five volts or 12. That was my first mistake. You put 12 volts in and it's five volts out for your chip, uh, like your pick processor, whatever you're using. 
that 5 volts is also used as a reference on this uh, bridge driver. So if it's 5 volt reference, <coughs> uh, you can the signals can be up to 5 volts. If the reference was like 2.5, then the signals from your pick can only be 2.5. So 5 volt regulator on board for this, but you can run the 5 volts out, run your pick microcontroller. So the main thing you need to worry about is yeah, how do you drive it? So I just set up my pick. Uh, I've got a little 16F84. Uh, I've tied some. Um, I've got a ceramic resonator, just two bins, four LEDs to indicate the outputs. And if we go like one, two, three, four, I had them running in a chase, and the motor would just sit there and hum and do nothing. Let me, uh, four wires here, one, two, three, four. So I was running it in a chase, one, two, three, four. Motor's doing nothing. Uh, look at the L298. Doesn't really tell you a lot. Then down the data sheet, which I've just got here in the background, it talks about running the 298 off uh, off another chip. Let me just I'm just scrolling down the, my computer screen. Don't want to start moving the camera unnecessarily. Well, you've got the 298 uh, ST. Talk about driving the 298 with the 297. So I looked at the 297, I thought, right, what do we need? What does the 297 drive the 298 with? And it's four clock pulses. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you see some of the homework I've been doing over there. This is figuring this out last night. Four clock pulses, but I've got I've drawn this on the screen. Essentially what you need, four clock pulses. From the LED, uh, from the LED, from the pick micro, but not one, two, three, four. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat this afternoon. Not one, two, three, four, but we'll call them A, B, C, D. It says A, C, B, D. A, C, B, D. A, C, B, D. A, C, B, D, A, C, B, D. Run four separate pulses like that into pin one, two, three, four, A, C, B, D, and you're away. We get a stepping output from this little device. Uh, I've got this device running on nine volts and it's tapping the, using a five volt regulator, running my pick. So very quickly, so I've got it stepping, I've got it stepping clockwise slowly, just so you could see that a C B D A C B D A C B D Get that clear in your head because that's what you need. So if you look at the other videos on my brother's channel, you will suss out how to use uh, microcode studio and <coughs> turn various pins on and off uh, on the uh, pick controller. This is the data sheet for the <coughs> excuse me 298N. So there's our two phases for the stepper motor, but how do you get it going? There's A, B, C, D, but there I was clocking one, two, three, four, and got nothing. You can use this, it might be easier, but it's got uh, counterclockwise, clockwise, half a full bridge reset. What's half or full bridge? You've got enable and voltage reference. Right, that's the 298. That, as I say, it doesn't tell you a lot. You might be able to reverse uh, engineer the, these uh, technical drawings um, and suss out how to get it to work now, you know, once you know but didn't tell me very little and I was just scrolling through all this and I thought oh, it's no good it's a full bridge or full H, H driver so there's your H there there's a horizontal bar two vertical bars so you've got four gates pulling these high low high low to turn one phase on then the other you can do it with FETs, 298 is probably cheaper. Uh, and I had a 298, didn't have loads of FETs. So that's the 298. Uh, buy it off eBay. Let me find a daisy sheet for the 297. Hopefully this is it. Right, this is the L297 SGS Thompson Microelectronics. That's the circuit again. Scroll down basically, briefly. What I wanted to show you 